passion. That is the word for today's video. Now, I know I've mentioned this idea before in some of my other videos, like the academics and the extracurricular one. However, I think the essay section by far needs to show passion. In my opinion, the essay section is the most important part of the application process. It's what can make a moderate candidate into the perfect one. Colleges want to know who they're accepting, and prior to the essay section, you're just a robot regurgitating SAT scores in grades. Your statistics don't show colleges who you are, but just what you are. Just because you're smart enough to go to a college doesn't mean that you deserve to go there. And just because you don't have the statistics to go to the college doesn't mean that you shouldn't have the opportunity to have that education. The essay section allows you to give your reason, your persuasion, your perspective on why you think you're the perfect applicant. And that is extremely important. If you only have drop down menus and places to input numbers, they're just seeing these superficial facts. But now you have the opportunity to persuade them. Think about that. And since this is such a personal part of the application process and you're trying to show that you're not just a one dimensional synthesoid, no one can really tell you exactly what to write for your essay. However, today I hope to give you some of the tips that I used when I was trying to figure out what I was going to write to get into some of the colleges that I want to in this extremely difficult application process. So I hope someone can find this useful. So my first tip is to take a shower. Now, I know this one may seem a little bit strange and no, I'm not telling you that you smell bad, but I think I've had some of my best ideas in the shower. I think most people would agree that they're most innovative in the shower. Maybe it's the isolation from the outside world, the sound of the water hitting the floor, or those wild water droplets hitting the top of your head, stimulating your brain. I don't know what it is, and if I can find out, maybe I'll make another video on it. But there's something about being in the shower that always stimulates a great idea. And so if you're trying to figure out what you want to write for your, your entire application or for your essay, I always think it's a great idea to go into the shower thinking about the things that you want to portray who you are, the things that you like, and possibly you'll come out with a better idea than when you started. Tip number two, make a list of your passions. If the shower idea didn't give you any great revolutionary topics for your college application essay, then maybe this is a good place to start. I realized that when I was trying to fill out my application that colleges want to know who I am and the things that I love to do. Colleges want to see that if I'm willing to take action on the things I love and therefore do the same at their college when I'll be pursuing the future career that I supposedly am passionate about. So by making a list of your passions, you can kind of easily see different topics that you can write about for your essays. Also, I'm sure that all of us have different hobbies and different activities that we do, and each of them play on a different part of our personality. So by listing down your passions and connecting them to different character traits, we can easily see different essay th topics just appearing before our eyes. Colleges, especially top level ones, will ask a variety of questions to try and to get to know you. By picking a character trait and a topic of passion to write under the guise of then that can be a good way to come up with different ideas. I always think it's a great idea to demonstrate your character traits through the things that you do. And I think that's a good way to start. So make a list of your passions and see where you can go from there. Number three, take a targeted approach. Every college is different. And oftentimes you'll hear your friends say, or people from previous years say that they just reused essays. And although this is a good way to save time when you get a little bit crammed towards the end, I think it's important to try and write individual personalized essays for each college that you're going to, at least in the start. I think, as I said before, by making a list of your passions, you can easily break down to different topics and write essays for each of those passions. And oftentimes you can reuse those essays if they have the same exact question or very similar question at another school. But you don't want to make the mistake of using an essay that may be very personalized to one college and then try and carry it over to another. Each college has different values and different beliefs. You want to make sure that you research those first before you write your essays. And that way you can target those beliefs through the passions and the character traits that you want to portray. If one school is very into people who work hard and that's their biggest goal, then pick a passion that demonstrates that you work hard and then use that one for that school. While another school who may be more interested in something different, you can find the correct passion and the correct character trait that best suits for that school. So 
make sure that you don't just reuse and just mindlessly make one essay and then copy and paste. Make sure that when you're, if you really wanna make a good essay, it's targeted towards that school. Number four, write a story. It's not good enough just to tell your passions or your character traits, you want to tell a story. Remember, colleges are reading hundreds of applicants every single day, and you want to be the one that stands out. Say, for example, you play soccer. There are probably hundreds of applicants who play soccer, and maybe a lot of them are successful and go to championships. So if you write a heartfelt story about how you and your team worked hard and you got past those trials and tribulations you made to state championships, that's a story that they see a dime a dozen. So you want to be something that's different. So you want to ask yourself, how can I characterize myself in this story? How can I show the colleges who I am and what makes the thing that I'm doing so special to me? That is far more important. Let's say you do, I don't know, um, let's say quiz bowl, right? Instead of talking about how your team trained to do very well in the quiz bowl, talk about something that makes you love quiz bowl. Maybe for example, you talk about a rehearsal or a practice for quiz bowl. Talk about the people there and how they interact with you and how that changes you as a person. Talk about the things that you've learned and how that changes you as a character. Show there's a progression of your, your character development. And that way you are demonstrating who you are as a person through a story that seems sort of amiss or a little bit different from what everyone else is doing. Number five, talk about something random. And no, I don't mean completely random, something that you don't know anything about, but something that may be important to you that you may not think that colleges may find interesting. This one sort of goes back to the previous tips about your passions and a story, but oftentimes people are writing about the same topics all the time, but writing about something that you may not think that other people will write about, but you know a lot about can make your essay a lot more interesting. I've read essays from friends and online about people writing about handwriting and writing about pants, but they demonstrate more than just the surface idea of whatever the topic is. They're talking about how this story as a whole changed them as a person and develops their character. This is a very interesting story because not a lot of people will think of doing this, but it's a little bit more abstract and will stand out amongst the hundreds of applicants who are applying that year. Number six, be creative. I know this one's kind of a given, but just try and be as creative as possible. We don't all have to be some grand writer, but just try your best to write something that's interesting. No one wants to read a story that a kindergartner could have written. Use literary devices, use descriptive language. Just try and do something that is creative and fun to read. If you like fantasy books or sci-fi books or some kind of genre, maybe write it in that way. If you like poems, write a poem. Do something that is out of the ordinary, but also creative and gets your point across. I think it's very important that people look at your essay and are like, wow, I wasn't expecting this out of a college application essay. And that really stands out. So do something that you're good at, do something that you like, but always just try and be creative when you're coming up with your story and thinking of your themes and your morals and the character traits that you want to portray in that story. Number seven, write everything down. Now, I know there are word limits to the essays, but don't even think about that. You wanna have your whole unfettered thoughts onto the page as you are getting to write your first drafts. When I wrote my first draft, my essay was maybe two and a half times the actual page limit and the word limit. And it was hard to cut it down, but it's way easier to cut things out than it is to try and add things at the specific amount that you need to fit in with your story and get into the word count. If you have a piece of coal that you're like, oh, it's, it's, I don't know what this is, as you keep chipping it down and pushing and pushing and pushing and putting more pressure on it, it will eventually become a diamond. So writing everything down also gives you ideas that you can come back to later, but it also gives something that you can base your whole essay off of and really compress into the perfect piece of writing that you think that the colleges will really like and something that you are truly appreciative of. Number eight, read to everybody. I think it's important to get second opinions. Obviously, you're gonna be biased to your own piece of work. So by getting a lot of people around you to read it and people like your teachers or any other people to just read your essay, it's a good way to see if it is a good thing that college readers will read. They're not part of your um, family, they're not you. And so maybe even if you think it's good, it may not actually be as good as you suspect. Or if you think it's bad, it may actually be better than you think. So by having other people's opinions allows you to kind of see where your faults are and how you can improve later. I think that it's important to always get outside opinions, so this one's a little bit of a given, but when you're about to go and get someone to read it, always ask them when they're done, what did you learn about me as a person 
from reading this. If they tell you that they just thought it was a funny story or a serious story and they didn't learn anything about you, then maybe you have to go back to the drawing board and start again and see what you can fix. But if they tell you that they've learned something about you as a character, even if it's not the exact thing that you were trying to portray, if they can learn something about you as a person and it's something that you like for colleges to also see, then I think that's a good start to your essay and you can keep on building on that as you make your other essays or if you improve on the one that you're already doing. Number nine don't be too overt. I know I've already talked a lot about showing your character traits and your passions, but you don't want to just come outright and say, these are my character traits and these are my passions. That's no way to write an essay. Obviously, if you're looking to write a good piece of writing, base it off of good pieces of literature. Literature that is very good doesn't just tell you outright, they show and they don't tell. By demonstrating through your words, the actions that you take can demonstrate a lot more than just saying what you are. It's one thing to just be like, oh, I want to go to music school because I enjoy music. It helps people feel their emotions. It helps people express themselves. It makes people feel better. That's one thing, but it's not a good essay. That's something you could have put in your extracurricular section. And you never want to repeat yourself. Write something new in your essay, something that they can't just read off a piece of a paper, something that's not a statistic, something that they would have to know you as a person to be able to understand. And that's what you're trying to convey with your essay. So try to demonstrate through your actions. Instead of writing, oh, I enjoy music, talk about how you smiled and your actions when you saw people love the music that you were playing and your reaction to those things. That has a way more powerful effect in the writing than just outright saying what you like about it and what you are doing. That's good writing and it makes it more interesting to read and it really shows in a deeper level how you feel about the thing that you're talking about. Number 10, this is my final tip. Every place that there is a opportunity to write is an essay. Don't get that confused. Just because it's a little small section that only gives you a couple of characters or just because it's a, a short answer question doesn't mean that you should just say, okay, I'll just answer it as it is. No, if they give you the opportunity to write, they're giving you the opportunity to persuade them in your own words. Don't just go about the things and just write good essays for the longer ones. Write something in every section that they give you and make sure that's interesting. Don't leave anything blank. If they say, if you have any extra thoughts, write another essay. Just write in every single section. This is a great opportunity to show them more than what other applicants will do. For example, say in the extracurricular section, it says, explain what you do in your extracurricular. Let's say it's a sport. Let's say tennis, for example. Rather than just say, I was the captain of the tennis team, uh, we played, we went to the state championships, blah, 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 you know, yada, yada. You might want to say something a little bit more like, I helped coach my team into success, I helped organize fundraisers that help lead the community to a better, uh, cohesive team and community support, I don't know. Just put something that sounds a lot more interesting than just straight out saying what you did. Now, you never want to lie because if you lie, that can always backfire on you and it can compile over time. But make what you do sound as interesting as possible. Don't just list things down. Make sure that something that you are writing is interesting just like your essays. For the short answer questions, try and make it as interesting as possible with very good word choice and interesting use of space. Colleges want to make sure that they're getting the right balance of students for their community. They want to make sure they're adding the right people to their melting pot of a campus. And so the more you get to show them about your personality and who you are, gives you a better chance of being added to that little mini microcosm of society. And so when you write your essays, just make sure that you're showing the colleges who you are, things that they can't just read off of your transcript, something that is unique and something that is demonstrating your passions and your personality. Just do something that is interesting. That's really the best advice that I can really give. Now, I know it's hard to come up with ideas based off of just some of my tips. So if you guys would like to hear me read some of my essays, just let me know in the comments down below. But other than that, I wish you guys the best of luck and I hope you can write the best essays that's something that you are proud of. If you're not proud of your essays, then it's gonna be hard for you to believe that someone else will be. So if you can write something that you're proud of and you enjoy reading it, then you have a lot better of a chance and you feel a lot better about yourself when you click that submit button. So just write something that you are proud of. So good luck everybody and thanks for watching my video.